my name is Andy Tatsall and this is Site Hacks. This video explains the benefits of making your published research accessible. You've worked hard to write your research paper and you're about to publish it and depending on what route you've taken, gold or green open access, you may be able to present early access of the work by putting it into an open access repository. At the University of Sheffield we have a joint university initiative called the White Rose Repository and depositing your work there not only ensures it is REF compliant but can give it early access to a global audience. The repository is Google indexed and will get picked up in search results potentially downloaded, read and cited earlier than if it was behind a publisher's paywall. While it sits away behind that paywall you are limiting the number of people who can read it and cite your work. You can check what rights you have as an author to share your work by either going to the Sherpa Romeo website and checking what you are permitted to do with the research. Hopefully your research will have been licensed in a way that enables it to work as wide an audience as possible and that can read it. Not just fellow academics but policy makers, funders and the general public. If someone can read the paper, then they can cite it. If it's behind a paywall, they may not bother. Spark Europe has a bibliography of papers that explore the effects of open access on citation advantage. And there is much discussion around this topic with various debates as to whether open access does improve citations and whether it is much more complicated than that. A recent study by PLOS, by, authored by Jim Ottaviani, a librarian from the University of Michigan, found when his institution made papers available through its repository, they found open access citation advantage was as high as 19% when articles that embargo during some or all of their privatization citation time uh, occurs. And whilst this paper found that the results reveal open access articles in general receive more citations, moreover this research finds that the articles in high ranked journals do not have a higher open access rate and articles in lower ranked journals have a greater increase of citations if they are freely accessible. A study by the Research Information Network looked at published papers in Nature Communications and found from their sample of 2,878 papers a small positive effect on citations of open access articles and a larger positive effect on web views and PDF downloads. There are certain factors to take into consideration as to an author's selection to what they make open access. Is it their best paper? Is it in the high impact journals? Is there a self-selection bias going on? There are certainly plenty of studies that show no, no positive effect on open access on citations. Nevertheless, if you achieve more citations by making your research open, it is a worthwhile product of your hard work. Plus, the more people can generally access it. Why produce something that has impact and leave it in a place where no one can afford to see it? My name is Andy Tattersall and this is Sidehack.